Hi guys, I started a video and it didn't record, so I'm just starting it again. I'm not ready to do the Queen yet, okay? Out of respect, to be honest, I just, I don't know, I was in Buckingham Palace the other the other day at the gate and I just, I'm just not ready yet. Um, I've had some amazing questions on that reading which will be done, but not, not yet. Um, I am checking in on Charles because I am worried about him. Um, I always had a feeling that he wouldn't be in power for long. So it was almost like everyone thought William would take over straight away, but I feel like Charles has been training for this for most of his life, so he's going to be in power, but I don't feel it's going to be for long. Five years, maybe, five to seven years, and I feel the last couple of years, William's going to be stepping in a hell of a lot more publicly as well. Um, I just don't feel it. I will say when it comes to his speech, I mean, I think everybody, I mean, I had tears in my eyes when I heard the speech of the day he said about his mum, the Queen, sorry. Um, well, the Queen, his mum, yeah. And I feel you're going to have more of that from him. So this wasn't a one-off when he reached out and was very compassionate and very, very open with people. The Queen was more stiff up, stiff up a lip, the way she came across. She was very humble and down to earth and it was very easy to talk to her from, from what everybody said. But with Prince Charles, it's going to be coming, I'm hearing coming from his heart more. So when he does speeches or anything on TV, it's going to be more compassionate. I'm hearing heartfelt. So his communication is going to be different from what we have had before. Okay. Now, I just want to check in quickly because I want to see how is he going to do this role over the next year or two? You know, how is he going to cope with this role over the next year or two? Straight away, I heard Camilla Backbone, Backbone, which is pretty obvious anyway, because he said that in the speech. But I'm hearing Camilla Backbone, Camilla Backbone. I also pick it up now. She's going to push him on as well. So there's going to be times where it's almost like, because he's very emotional compared to even after this, guys, even if it's a year time, he's very emotional. He, he's almost in his head and he's very sensitive and emotional. And Camilla is more the, I'm hearing the driving force. So she will be the one at times when... It's almost like waking up in the morning thinking I have to do this today. Oh, it's it's hard. And she's going to be the backbone and I hear the driving force behind him because it's going to be incredibly emotional. It, it's just really taken out of him, to be honest, her passing. He's got a lot more to come with that, to be honest. But let's just have a look at the role, okay? How is he going to be doing, especially in the public eye in the next year or two? That's not a great card to begin with. Support from her, the balance being off. Now, I do feel, I do feel, I mean, the Ten of Swords is a complete ending. So I feel that's where he is now. It's almost like a complete ending. And then we have the world, which is almost like a brand new cycle of his life, which makes complete sense. It's almost like he's had the wind knocked out of him. It's been a complete ending for him. He's in a new, more positive chapter in his life. Now, the lovers, I do feel that's Camilla, okay? Now, it could be like the Two of Cups, for example, or something like that for a soulmate connection. But the lovers, it's very passionate still. It's like this chemistry, passion. They still have that. <laughs> I'm really picking up on that. They still have that. So with her by his side, it's going to be okay. But... I do feel the way he comes across um, publicly, it's going to be, I'm hearing dated and behind the times, and that's where his son's going to have to come in. So publicly speaking, the two of pentacles, everyone's going to have a lot of compassion for him, but there's going to be certain topics I just hear dated. Even if he tries to get his head around it, he's going to struggle. And this is where the balance off. Now with this, I do feel William is going to be coming in here for certain topics. So it's almost like anything... You know, certain gen you say generation X and Y, all this kind of stuff. It's almost like if there's a topic based on that, then they're going to bring William and Kate in for that issue. And he's not going to be seen as the front man for certain issues because it's almost like they deem he would not be appropriate to speak for certain people, cultures and things like that. That's that's really coming through with the younger generations here because there's still a lot of people just go on Twitter, guys. I mean. It's all going off about, you know, abolish the monarchy and things like that. So it's almost like certain topics he may step back from and let William and the younger generation step in there. OK, now we do have the magician, which means success, but we also have the six of swords, which means stepping back. So it's almost like I feel it will be a successful reign if he steps back from certain issues to let William take over. It's almost like he is stepping back from certain things, OK, which will be successful. 
rather than him pushing through with something. And I, I keep, I just feel William, I just feel William and Kate are going to be the backbone here. And it's going to be a painful decision as well. So it's almost like his way of doing something is going to, it's almost like William is going to try and talk him out of some things, how he wants to put things across and talk and connect to people. And William's going to come across and say almost like, I think it's better if we do it like this. And it's going to be a painful decision for Charles to step back and let William step up to the forefront more because he's wanted, he has been trained for this role for so long. He's definitely willing to put the hard work in as well. But I still hear dated, dated, okay? Um, not him, but some how others see him as such, okay? He's very open to topics. He's very open to meeting, talking to people, all generations. But it's more the public opinion, the younger generations, the people that are like, why have we got the monarchy, that kind of thing. It's more um, that kind of side of things. It's not going to go down as well, some of the topics he picks, okay? But he's going to work hard. He's going to work hard. I do think there are going to be times where maybe like us guys, we don't want to get out of bed. You know, you've got a long day ahead of you and you can't be bothered. And I keep hearing Camilla at the backbone. backbone. And I keep getting the lovers with them. More than just a partner. Extremely... Um, the chemistry, the the the, com the the attraction, the lovers, the sexual, not going into that side of things, guys, but I mean, it's almost like a passion still between them. Like, there's still a passion. It's different. It's not like, it's just very passionate, the connection. Okay, and then we have the King of Swords, which I'm going to see as him right now, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, 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 because I was just speaking about them as well. So then we also have the King of Pentacles, which for me is almost like his energy, which is very, very kind of flighty, hard to tie down, highly, highly intelligent, but can be all over the place. And he doesn't anchor himself very well, you know, almost like taking on too much too soon, it, just just all over the place. He needs an anchoring. And that's coming in as Camilla, which is the Queen of Pentacles here, which is the one that's grounded to bring him back down to earth and help to ground him. And that's why I'm saying she's the backbone. Right, so that's that on him. Let's just see quickly. Okay. And let's just think of one more question I can ask on this, guys. And then what I will do is, I will do a part two on this. I will do a part two on this as well, okay? Let's just think about this now. What other question can we ask? I want to know, actually, out of interest, how William feels about him ruling right now. He knew it was going to happen anyway. But I, I wonder if he has concern about it. So let's just see how William feels about his dad, King Charles, stepping forwards in this role. How does William feel? How does William feel? He's worried. I'm hearing the word strain, strain. He's worried, wor worried about the strain it's going to have on him. Very worried about taken out of context, I just heard. Randomly, guys, I just heard taken out of context, which is, which again... There will be some media outlets where he will say something and they take him out of context to make it sound a lot worse than it really is. And again, I keep hearing that word dated, out of touch, out of touch. So that's his main concern is that that's how he's going to be taken as well. Because obviously William's a lot younger, generation-wise, and that's what his concern is going to be. He's more in tune with the energy around the whole thing at the moment, and Charles isn't as such. How does he feel? How does he feel about his dad in this role? How does he feel about wish come true? So that's his dad, literally. His wish come true, as in he's the king. It's his wish come true. It's almost like as well, a bit, almost like a bit, not, I couldn't say annoyed, but almost like he feels like he's been held back for so long from doing this position. And now he's at this age, he doesn't know how long he will carry it out for. Now he's going to do it to the best of his abilities, but I do feel this some um, some other issues behind that health-wise with him, okay? And in a way, it's almost like, I wouldn't say too little, too late. Like, nothing's going to happen to him like that, guys. But almost like, he feels like it's too little, too late to have this role now. You know, it's almost like, he wish he, I'm hearing prime, 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 prime. So he wish he had it when he was in his prime and not where he is now. Very, very happy, though. Nine of Cups is almost like the cat that got the cream, literally. The cat that got the cream, something you really, really wanted you know, and you've achieved it. So it's, but it's kind of wiped out with that sadness, you know, as well. So William knows he's been trained for this, he's been waiting for this, he's more than ready for this, okay? He's more than ready for this. 
He's willing to put the work in. Now, again, guys, so William does believe if he puts the hard work in, it, he will be successful. He will be successful. But again, this is all going to be to do with, again, I'm getting taken out of context, speaking to William, which this card I pulled as well, guys, which is the King of Wands. I feel this is more William, actually. Um, almost like very, very charming, uh, very creative uh, it's almost like a youthful kind of energy as well. Really, really charming. Knows how to speak to people. So it's almost like if they work together, it's going to be successful for him. But I do hear reel him in. So there could be some times where he says something and then people are like, oh, I can't believe he said that. And again, it's not going to be us or my mum's, you know, my mum's generation. It's going to be the younger generation that are questioning why we have the monarchy. So that's William's biggest fear. I keep hearing he's worried he's going to get taken out of context. But overall... If they can work together, it's going to go okay for him while he's in power. It's going to be a team. I just heard the A-team. <laughs> and I, this is so random I got the A-team because it's like the A-team given different roles. So it's almost like William will take one part of this role, even though Charles is king. And then it will be divided. I'm hearing div a division. This isn't between the family, as in they will be set to do certain things. It's almost like I'm seeing now like a pie chart. And each one is a slice of the pie and what they're going to do and what they're going to be working on. Um, and, and work being dished out in that sense so it could be like you're gonna help you're gonna take this area of the NHS for example that kind of thing so they've got us back but they're more worried about how he's taken especially William William's worried about how he's going to be taken but overall exactly what he said in this speech yeah Prince Charles the energy is very giving to his people he really really wants to prove himself here he's trained long enough I'm hearing he's trained long enough I do feel that's Kate as well with Kate's support Kate support as well, the Queen of Cups, very um, empathic, emotional. Princess Diana King um, was the was the Queen of Cups as well. And let's see what else we have here: Knight of Pentacles and the Fool. So again, guys, the Knight of Pentacles really willing to put the hard work in here. Okay, he's willing to really bloody work hard. He really, really is. But we do have the full energy here as well, which means there may be times where he just, again, taken out of context, he's going to say some whoppers or something like that. You know, like how Philip was famous for? Um, so overall, with William's support and the family support, I think he will do well. I do hear the word clangers, so expect some clangers from him and the way the media are going to have a field day with some of the topics he's he's dealing with. But overall... I feel he's going to be okay. I feel he's going to be okay. But I still don't feel it's going to be a, a very long reign. I feel after maybe five years, he's going to be winding down more. Okay. And you're going to see William step to the forefront and Kate. And that's going to be a good idea when. Because it's going to be in the media. Oh, you know, he didn't turn. A bit like the Queen when the Queen didn't make certain um, commitments. I mean, give her a break. She's 96, for God's sake, you know. Really annoyed me. When I saw some comments about, oh, well, the Queen wasn't here today. She's 96, what to expect? I'd like you to see, like, work 70 years for your country. You know what, sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's 96. She was 96. Give her a break, okay? God save the Queen. God save the King. <laughs>